Time. It's been a year, as we know, since the pandemic has de was declared, and labs in Ontario are working at full speed to process COVID-19 tests. More than 11 million have been completed, and that number is set to rise swiftly as variants continue to take hold of the province. Despite this, experts warn labs are falling short of processing the target 100,000 daily tests. Join me now, Michelle Hode, CEO of the Medical Laboratory Professionals Association of Ontario. Michelle, always great to have you on the program. Nice to see you, Angie. You know, it's an ongoing conversation. Maybe we just continue where we left off and we talked about testing and making sure that we're doing enough testing. Where do we stand right now? Are we able, are we doing enough and are we able to process enough? The labs right now are able to do, um, I think last night was about 65,000 and 64,000 the night before. I think something extraordinary to look at right now is uh, Dr. Tam announced that there was 25 million and a half lab tests done across the country. 45% of those tests have been processed here in Ontario. So that is a tremendous number with mm -hmm. the group that we know started understaffed. They started understaffed a year ago and they are still understaffed. I was going to ask you about that because that as well has been the situation where you're saying if we have more people, we can be doing more testing, we can help bring out, you know, more and, and be able to track more. And now that we have these variants, uh, what is your concern? Dr. Teresa Tam also saying today she was looking at close to around 3,000 or so variant cases in Canada. And as we're hearing from medical professionals, those numbers could increase. So our labs are working 24 seven, you know, they're addressing all the tests that are coming in. There's processes in place to look at screening for these variants. So we have come a long way in a year. Um, I think they are doing the best they can. Mm. Unfortunately, you know, I, someone asked me the other day, like what has been really great this year? It's been great because people now understand who lab is. Mm -hmm. If you talk to a person, they're gonna say, do you know what a PCR test? Everybody knows what a PCR test is now. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows what a technologist is or a technician. But what hasn't changed are the number of people in our labs that is still the bottleneck of those that can interpret PCR tests. So we are still trying to get the government to understand we need to look at the human health resource mm -hmm. bottleneck that resides not only in Ontario, but across the country. Yeah, no, it certainly does. And talk to me more about that concern then. We've talked uh, about burnout. We've talked about, um, you know, people that are being overworked. Um, what is uh, What are your concerns here? And, and I guess then from that point then, as you say, you've been talking to the government saying we need help. What does that need to look like? I think we first need to look at our medical lab technologist programs across the country, specifically in Ontario, there's five. Mm -hmm. They all have wait lists right now. So there are kids trying to get into the program. The second bottleneck is when you do, when you, you're in a program, you need to do a placement. So you need to go into a hospital lab. The problem is our labs are understaffed. Mm -hmm. So how can they bring a student in and train them when they're already dealing with 284 million lab tests that they do each year? plus the additional COVID tests. So we need to look at some funding in our labs, fundings dedicated primarily to like preceptors. Those are educators in the lab that can work just with the kids. If we look at those two pieces and, you know, Angie, it isn't a quick solution. We can't fix it right now. It is a longer term solution, but we have to find an answer because the economic recovery of Ontario in the country is dependent on testing. Mm -hmm. Testing is important. The more tests we do, the more we'll know what's happening. Like you just said, why haven't we hit 100,000? Because we can't hit 100,000. Right. Yeah, no, exactly. And, and as you say, it's not just now, it's looking at the long term as well in terms of where we are with this pandemic, where we are down the road in the future is uh, for, for future viruses as well. Michelle, it's always great to talk to you. Michelle Hold, CEO of the Medical Laboratory Professionals Association of Ontario. And we do appreciate all the hard work of all those lab technicians are doing day in and day out. Great, I'll let them know. Thank you. You're welcome.